Uh, my name is Nello Cristianini. I am a professor of artificial intelligence at the University of Bristol. Okay, so what is happening today in artificial intelligence? Well, first of all, it is not trivial that you can translate. You can give to your computer a text in English and produce a fairly viable text in Spanish and uh, viable enough for it to be deployed and to be used by millions of people. And that is new and that is remarkable. It has been a, a a goal of research for such a long time to translate text, natural text, in a viable, usable way. Speech. We can transcribe speech. You can speak to a computer and the machine will roughly understand what you asked. Question answering. You can type or speak a question and expect a relevant answer. So these are all pieces of artificial intelligence that have come together in the last 10 years. Um, computer vision. You can recognize a person based on their face, in an image or in a video. That's a new development in artificial intelligence. Autonomous cars, based on the computer vision advances and other advances, cars can navigate traffic, not always, but in many situations. So a lot of this stuff has happened in the past 10 years. There is more. Um, you can have a, um, a robot navigation, you can have recommendations, you can have spam filters. If you think about what a spam filter is, it's a software that decides what information you should read and you trust it to censor your correspondence. A news recommendation, a software recommending what articles you may want to read. Online shops suggesting what books you may want to buy. We, we spelling correction. So we have so many little pieces of artificial intelligence all over our life and they're responsible for the credit card system by detecting possible frauds, for our communications by suggesting friends on Facebook, censoring emails that you may not want to read, and so on. We just deployed artificial intelligence in so many aspects of our life, and this would have been unthinkable just a few decades ago. So that is the main news we must come to terms with, and there is more on its way. Cars will become increasingly increasingly more autonomous, to the point in which certain specific um, uh, trajectories, uh, uh, journeys, could be automated. And that will have a consequence in, in society. Uber is an example of a company who are investing heavily on automated cars. Obviously the vision is uh, some journeys will not be done by human drivers. Um, Apple with Siri, you can ask questions to the computer, expect an answer. Will that impact the way we run call centers? I can't see how not. And then uh, um, everything else, you know, we, 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 can, we, we can imagine information gathering, information summarization, question answering systems. So we are in the middle of this revolution. And um, some have called this moment a renaissance of artificial intelligence. Because it has been a long time coming, a field that hasn't delivered for a long time, suddenly now is delivering a lot of things uh, at once and society is absorbing them there is a business model for it and that is making all the, all the difference i think